Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about yet another AI agent based tool called as Klein. This, this client is going to be a bit more different from GitHub Copilot Tab 9, which can be used along with your Visual Studio code to go do the auto completion or creating a file or debugging the code, something like that. But this code is even more beyond it. I mean, you can use this client as an agent, which can be used to help as an assistant for you while you do the development and testing of your application. Basically, this client is again yet another VS Code extension, but over here you can use it to perform a lot of different operations. For example, you can use it like a partner to think, plan, and act as they have mentioned over here. So you can, before you start doing a testing or application development, you can create a plan like what exactly that you are going to be looking for. And based on the plan, you can then act on that particular plan and see how that actually works. And you can uh, also extend this particular client with the model context protocols power. Uh, again, this is model context protocol is the one which can uh, help you extend the capability of the LM uh, with the AI agent. So you can use this as well within the, the client and you can see that the power of the MCP comes in along with the client over here. So I'm going to show you the MCP part in this particular video because I'm not really going to show you the features that the client itself has got. So over here, I'm I'm just going to open a Visual Studio code and this is the application which I actually have built using client itself. So this, this whole application that you are seeing over here, I have built with client uh, and uh, yeah, this application is very super simple application. Well, I keep on talking about client versus client. This is the client that I'm talking about. I mean, this is the extension that I have added from over here. So if you just go to uh, client uh, and you can see that you get this uh, extension, I have installed it. And that's what you are seeing over here uh, within my Visual Studio code. And the power of uh, the client is that you can use this client not just with the uh, open AI model or cloud model, but you can also use your local large language model where you can run DeepSeek uh, within your machine. And then you can perform the same operation that you can do from the cloud based models like open AI uh, API keys and things. So uh, you can see that over here, I'm using the API provider as the open AI, but you can also choose the Olama over here. And you can see that it's going to list me all the models, which is available within my Olama, like DeepSeek uh, R1 8 billion parameter, QN, QN 2.5 quarter, uh, Llama 3.1 70 billion parameters. 70 billion parameters, just ignore it, it's not going to run, but you can use other models as well. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the OpenAI uh, and I will show you how we can uh, do the testing and stuff for this particular application. Uh, but again, we can talk about how we can use a cl uh, client with a local large language model and see what is the performance and what are the features and what are the disadvantage of using a uh, client with the local uh, large language model. But for now, uh, let's just focus on how we can use this client along with the model context protocol. Well, I'm keep on talking about model context protocol. Where is this MCP is being configured in the client? So if you just go to the client over here, you see that there is this server kind of icon over here. If you just go and hit that, you see that this is the MCP server. And this MCP server is actually configured to use Playwright MCP server and file system MCP server. This Playwright MCP server is something that we already have uh, in our GitHub. If we just go to the uh, GitHub XR automation MCP Playwright uh, server, which is this one. This is going to be the one which is responsible for uh, doing the automation uh, using Playwright uh, for uh, within the browser. So you can use this uh, MCP server to perform this operation. So all you have to do is uh, just copy this entire command uh, and go to the MCP server over here and configure MCP server and just paste the command over here. That's what I have done over here. As you can see, this is the entire command that I have pasted. And same thing, if I have, if I need to work with file system, then this file system MCP server is going to be very, very helpful. And there are many different MCP servers available. So you can just go and search in uh, GitHub MCP uh, server, uh, which is this one. And you can see they have got the list of all the MCP servers available over here. Or there are even more MCP servers just available uh, for you to search, which is there in my GitHub uh, page as well. If you just go, uh, if you see this, uh, I asked symmetry. So this symmetry, if you just go there, so you see that it's gonna show our uh, Playwright MCP server. But if you're gonna be working with some other Playwright, uh, I mean, some other MCP server, then you can go and search here. And you can see that they have got all of these over here. So if let's say if I want to search for 
uh, file system, something like that. And then it's gonna go and search the uh, file system MCP server. And it's gonna list you that over here. You see that? There are a lot of MCP servers available. So enough about the MCP servers. And that's what I have really configured over here. And let's see how we can really run the application and uh, run the test against this particular application. And let's say I'm gonna run this application. So I'm gonna say npm, uh, or maybe, sorry, a node of the server.js. This, this is gonna run the application for me. You can either run it manually or you can also go to client over here um, and you can ask it to, uh, can you, not in the planning really, uh, or maybe in the planning itself, you can say, uh, run the application uh, and also test the application uh, using MCP uh, Playwright uh, to see I can if uh, I can perform uh, login with a username and password uh, and fill the form in the uh, next page. You see that I'm going to do all this planning over here. And while the planning really happens, you can see that I have really not supplied the the username and password uh, to the client. So now immediately client has got this question. It's asking that what is the specific CSS selector for the username and password input that you are trying to enter? And additionally, what is the, uh, can you also provide the username and password uh, for the field? So I'm gonna say uh, the username is uh, admin and password is uh, pass. Uh, about locators, uh, try to figure out uh, yourself uh, selves and pass it over to MCP Playwright. See, I'm gonna not even suggest what, what I should do. I'm gonna just say, just go and figure out yourself. And then uh, that's my planning over here. Uh, and you see that now uh, the, the client is trying to uh, pass all the information to model context protocol. And then it is asking me that it has to read some of the, uh, read the login page to understand what's really the locators are. See, it has got the details of what it has to do. And also it is reading the details of the user details page because it can get or grab all the informations as well. Now everything is done. So we have got all the informations over there. And now it's asking me that we need to enter the name, email and phone numbers. I'm gonna say, uh, just uh, enter some realistic uh, information uh, in the form uh, over here. So. I'm not even going to pass like what information that I need to pass in my next page of the application. So it is just storing all the information. See that now it has got the final plan. It's going to run the application. It is going to uh, run the playwright test uh, by entering the username as admin and password as password. Uh, and then it's going to navigate to the next page and it's going to do all these things. And so there is the plan mode and we have done everything over here. So pretty good. Now we're going to go to the act operation over here and let's try to resume the task. And the moment I resume the task over here, you can see that it is going to do all these operations one by one. So uh, it is going to uh, it is going to first start running the test for me over here, uh, just in case I will run the application over here because it looks like the the application has not been started, but it has now triggered the Playwright MCP server for me, and it is running the Playwright Navigate tool for me. So if you just go to the Playwright. Uh, over here, you see that we have got this playwright underscore navigate. This is this is what ex what exactly is being called uh, over here this time. So once I do an approve, you see that it is going to open a browser for me, uh, as you can see over here, uh, and then it's going to perform a login operation. But it looks like it is not really doing what it is supposed to, because this is not the page that it has to go. Yeah, that's the page. Uh, if you probably need to give a bit of a hand. Uh, and you see that now it has entered the admin as the username and then it has to select uh, the password. So let me put this guy side by side so that you can see what's really happening over there. Uh, look at that. And then I'm gonna uh, approve to enter the password. So it has filled that and then it is gonna click the button. So let's see if the playwright click is gonna happen. I'm gonna go, look at that. That has done as well. And in order for you to fill up all these form, I can just, do an auto approve to MCP, which means it's gonna approve 
uh, performing all the operations so that I don't keep on clicking approve, approve for every single time. And you see that now it's going to fill the form. Uh, but unfortunately, you know what? It is trying to navigate to a different page and the user detail is not really uh, coming up over there. Oh, now that looks like it is doing. But I see there are some glitch at the moment. Like it is not really doing what uh, like how it was supposed to do i've tried a couple of time before and it was just working fine but during demonstration purpose i see that it is not doing as expected but that, but that's okay but at least you got the idea what exactly is really happening over here see it has performed all the operation like login operation user filling operation uh, and also invoking the playwright mcp server to do it and the task has been completed over here you see that that's great. So this is how we can see that Playwright MCP server uh, can be invoked uh, using a planning operation and act operation of the client to do all those things for us over here. And this is not just limited to one uh, MCP server. So we have got so many MCP server, we can keep on extending this even further for our application development and testing. And I'm going to be showing you a few, few more videos like how we can do that. But you got the idea how you can use this client to perform all these operations with the AI agent's capability within client. Once again, let me know what is your thoughts about this kind of tool and how you use it in your organization effectively. Let me know in the comments below so that we can discuss about it if it is interesting. And that's all from me on the MCP server's capability in the client. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.